Apple on Daily Business Edition. Tonight we will learn about new project and Wojciech Zabłocki, former mayor of Warsaw, Praga district and a law and justice politician is our guest tonight, sir. The European Biodiversity Center. That's the general code name of this project. Could you tell us details about it? Okay, so for, first of all, our project was to create a Polish uh, natural history museum because we are only, I think we are only one major European country and uh, the capital that doesn't have such institution currently. And uh, tomorrow is the 100 years uh, after the first uh, resolution of the Polish parliament, after a after, uh, partition of Poland, that was to establish such, such an institution. And uh, till now we don't have such institution. And uh, during, uh, during cooperation with scientists from Polish Academy of Science, from the Institute at Museum of the Zoology, um, we did decide that we, we, we are not only to create such institution of like a only Polish uh, natural history museum, but we can cooperate with other nations and create something that doesn't exist uh, uh, till now. So the biodiversity center that's gonna be European, that's gonna combine laboratories, that's gonna have some institutes of uh, migration of species, of climate changing, and at the sea. A few people know how rich traditions in uh, protection of the species are in Poland. Yes, it's true, because uh, we're the first country in the world that was protected under endangered uh, species. The king uh, Władysław Jagiełło in the 15th century, in the 15th century, so almost 600 years ago, uh, gave um, a decree that was uh, protecting arrows. Arc was a kind of uh, wild cattle. That was very beginning of the 15th century. That, that but was, it, it was very 1490, something like that. Yeah, something like that. So, so many centuries ago, and he was protecting this arc, this wild cattle that uh, uh, is similar to something like bull and bison, but it was it was very um, uh, um, like, like a popular uh, animal in those times because it was on the crest of many cities and so on. Uh, and he was trying to protect this animal. It extinct in the 17th century, and uh, now we have only bones of this animal, but also in this museum. So if someone would like to see the last Arox uh, bones, um, he has to visit the Museum um, of the Natural History. You actually researched what uh, depositions are in which places, and it's all started in the very center of Warsaw, in the street of Wilcza. Yes, it's, it's true. And uh, it started like uh, this building at Wiltra 64, uh, where the Institute of Zoology is uh, since uh, 1935, uh, as I remember. So it was uh, before the war. But like three years ago, this uh, this building was covered by claims of former pre-war owners, and uh, the scientists. Uh, the management of this institute worried where they will go, where, where, where uh, going to be the future of this office and the seat of this, this place. And when I've been a mayor of Praga, and I offered them, maybe they will move to, to my place. And we found that there are 19th century forts, there are nearby Warsaw uh, Zoo, where we can create such an institution. And during discussion about how it's going to look like and what, what form it will have, and they asked me, maybe we'll not only move this institute, maybe we'll create a whole uh, museum um, um, or, uh, of natural history. And later some uh, partners from Germany joined us. They, they, they contacted us and said, oh, come on, you are doing a great job. You have so many species uh, in your magazines. We heard about them. It's famous in Europe. And maybe uh, we'll, we'll do something together. And it's not only going to be Polish, but it can be European. That's why we are thinking about European Biodiversity Center, because even German scientist says that, that we need such an institution in, in Europe. And why is not to be in Poland? So this project at European Biodiversity Center would be built on the basis of the uh, hundreds of years old collections of yeah, yeah, animals. We, yeah, we have over or eight, specimen because they yeah, are yeah. not alive anymore. We, we have like a, over eight million specimens in the magazines of Polish Academy of Science only in one institute of zoology. And we have other institutes like Pala Biology and, and so on and so on. And this collection is really great. The, 
a lot of um, specimens that are already extinct there. Um, but also some collections are, are really um, great, like hummingbirds, for example. We have the second com collection of hummingbirds in the world. And uh, I heard that when the uh, head of uh, Chinese Academy of Science, it's the biggest Academy of Science in the world, was visiting Poland and uh, the authorities uh, were um, offering him to show some new laboratories and so on and so on. And he said, no, no, I, I don't want to see this. I, first of all, like to see this collection of hummingbirds that is so famous in the world. And nowadays, it's it not... It turns out, where was that collection? This, in the magazines of Womna. It's near, near Warsaw. It is, and uh, um, it's, there, there's no access for, uh, uh, for, for, for audience. No one except it's the scientists. somewhere in a remote location yes. and not accessible. And so even authorities were need? surprised that we have such a collection. They didn't right. know it. Right, right, right. What do we need in terms of uh, legal uh, framework, in terms of organizational support to make this European Biodiversity Center mm. happen? Okay, after three, years, uh, after three years when we are trying to establish this institution, I think that the best way is to do something similar to Copernicus uh, um, uh, Science Center that will combine. The one that near Warsaw, yeah, that near, near Wisla River and yeah. designed for kids and so, so on. So I think it should be like, we, we should of course have some uh, exhibitions that will, will be popular for students, tourists, uh, just main audience. So it's going to be popular and we'll have money just, just uh, to run this institution. But I think as well, of course, we need to have some laboratories, some um, genetic and seed banks, we do have, uh, we do need um, this institution of uh, m uh, migration of species, of uh, climate change, because we, we need such institution in Europe. Mm -hmm. why, why, not, why not in Poland? So it should combine exhibition and entertainment part with scientific uh, part. And I think we have such a great collection, such a great scientist that we, we, we can do something more ambitious than only Natural History Museum of do Poland. It should be European Do you already have center. an idea about the location of this uh, yes, center? Yes, uh, as I said, nearby Zoological Garden of Warsaw. In the forest. Uh, mm -hmm. Yes, in the forest, because there are like 10 hectares around this. So, of course, we can, we can adopt this old uh, 19th century buildings for uh, this purpose, but around we can build whatever we like. And this is practically city center of Warsaw. Of course. By now, very well connected. Trams, buses, yeah, even the subway is running uh, nearby. And when you look uh, look at the map of Warsaw, we have we have uh, in this very center and the riverside, we have a, a Warsaw Zoo, the old town, the Museum of uh, um, of History of Polish uh, Polish Army Mil Mil Military Museum, and the fourth gonna be this uh, Museum of Natural History that will be kind of European biodiversity center. Wojciech I believe so. Wojciech Zabłocki, we keep fingers crossed to, uh, for Thank this you. project. Uh, Polish uh, politician, former mayor of Warsaw, Praga district, and you are running for office right now for uh, the, the parliament, right? It's true, and I think the, the main point in my program is to create such a museum, because um, being been uh, in the local government is not enough to create such an institution. I think in being, the, being a, in a country government will give me a power um, uh, to, to, to you know, run this project, to, to support this, this project. Very uh, interesting cause, a noble years. cause, and sir, we wish you uh, luck. And you. if you have Polish uh, voting right, please find out Mr. Wojciech Zabłocki on a list and vote, because uh, this will bring us a little bit closer to creation of European Biodiversity Center here in Warsaw, Poland. And that was it for tonight's Poland Daily Business. Thank you again, Thank you so sir. Much. And that was it.